Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video and welcome back to another challenge of spectates. Today we are going on Akali and this is technically, again, some people like it, the 10th best Akali in the world. Uh, there was only two Akalis in the top 10 and uh, only one of them has been playing recently. And this is one, the Akali, her name is Aviator Akali in the Akali clan. And I will say some people probably have noticed this video is rather short. Uh, hopefully you're okay with like a little bit smaller length videos at this time of year. Uh, the way that I always think of it, you know, I'm bulk recording at the moment so I can have all content that there's no content breaks. But you know, shorter videos are better than no videos, right? Um, so this video is going to actually be looking at how this Akali snowballs. So slight spoiler. Meanwhile, invade is happening. Uh, 2v5. Two fail flashes, by the way. Two fail flashes, which gives Akali one kill, Darius the other kill. But that's obviously going to help straight away for snowballing. Um, but yeah, she does get very fed. The game doesn't last that long, which you can kind of tell by the video length. Uh, but I want to know, how did she do it? You know, is there any special things that she does? Is there any technique? Uh, is it just pure out aggression at the right time? But obviously, what I will say is she just got first blood, right? But she didn't use any summoners. Uh, but she hasn't gone back yet. So if she kills Gragas again, how? Uh, obviously, Gragas now has used both summoners. Again, there is... Some people play Gragas mid. I don't rate it that highly. Um, if you want to play AP Gragas, then I'd probably play it just in jungle and not take the, the role of a mid laner. But like, how does she do it? So she's got the one kill. She still has both summoners and possibly she's going to go for an all-in at level 2 or level 3 with full summoners versus no summoners. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Um, so they're saying, yeah, it was, look, if you look at the pings that the enemy team has done, so they know Aurelia used her, her ignite and they know Gregus used flash. Um, so they know that information at least, so they should be using that. So level two hit, no change in aggression so far from the Akali. Um, you know, I was kind of expecting her to hit level two and kind of try to go all in. Nothing, no, no, no style of play change. Little bit there, Gragas actually goes to the engage. Akali just does a bunch of damage return with the a, a, um, electrocute proc. Gragas opting for a arcane comet, which I think is standard on him. Uh, and then Akali opting for electrocute, uh, obviously just to say not Dark Harvest. Dark Harvest has been nerfed too hard. Um, it's probably still good on something like Karthus or something, but it, the vast majority of champions that did take Dark Harvest, it's got enough too much. You need something like 25 roughly stacks of Dark Harvest to at least be equal with Electrocute, but Electrocute does more damage equally up until you get 25 stacks of Dark Harvest. So are you going to get 25 stacks? Probably not. So it's just pro it's safer to go Electrocute and more or less it's better to go Electrocute right now. Again, I reckon it will get patched or updated again but right now it's just not worth doing so again pretty boring again if you the, the video length and stuff and the game and again i know the outcome of the game i know how fed the akali gets but i don't know what happens i don't know how she gets that fed nothing right now is screaming to me in the next 10 minutes that this champion is going to be incredibly fed nothing it's a relatively passive lane phase top lane darius has just died by the way so like what happens uh, by the way, the Darius running Ghost and Teleport, which... Eh, eh, like, again, Ghost is good on Darius, but I wouldn't take it over Flash. Flash is just really cool uh, to a lot of champions. But then, the if you can see on the minimap, Aurelia overstays and gets killed anyway, so... Yikes. Right, so is the Akali waiting for level 6? Um, Gragas is full health because of his passive. Uh, he still has two health potions. Akali has one, and she has one currently running, so she'll be near enough full health by the time those potions are finished. Um, bot lane is a little bit even. Oh, well, firstly, let's just swap there. There were two uh, role um, changes uh, by the blue team. Is Akali and Darius swapped, and then the jungler and the AD carry swapped. So, again, higher rating. Sometimes, you know, people only play one role or one trick, whatever, and people... You know, a lot of the time people give that role to the person. Uh, I personally don't do it all the time because if I'm just in the mood to play mid, why should I sacrifice my enjoyment to let you play the thing you only play? But if I wouldn't lie, it's an awkward situation. Um, so here we go. A little bit of aggression or not, just going for farm. Yeah, literally, there is no aggression from the Akali. A little bit weird to see the, uh, the cloud kind of going in where the uh, terrain was blocking it. Um, so farm-wise, the Akali is ahead. But just, I don't know, biding at their time. So yeah, literally it must be, I'm waiting till level 6, and then I'm going to start doing things. Which I didn't know 
you know, maybe it's just the Gragas matchup, but I definitely know Akali is a very strong level 2 and level 3, especially knowing that your lane opponent doesn't have flash. Uh, you do. So it was a bit weird. I'll say that right now. It's already been a bit weird to me. And again, if we're, we're taking this as a, you know, spectating and education, it's a bit weird to me that they didn't do anything aggressive. Unless, again, I don't know this matchup. I'm learning Akali myself a little bit at the moment. Unless there's the specific matchup, she knows she does not out-trade him unless she is level 6. Possibly. Uh, so there's just no point to trade him. Just beat him a little bit in farm and wait until level 6. That's possibly it. So she has to be careful right now because Gragas could go for an E ultimate and then have her in the in the tower. I predict she's probably going to go back and buy and then look for a kill. Um, because oh, there's a return kill from the Darius now killing the Aurelia. So that lane's a little bit crazy. But yeah, so she's again near the tower, getting some nice little poke every now and then. Again, she's had no thought of the enemy jungler either, who, by the way, is Rumble running Dark Harvest, which is a little bit weird. We did say earlier that Dark Harvest really isn't worth taking uh, anymore uh, unless you're getting high stacks. Well, the Rumble has had no stacks so far because he's not got involved at all. So again, a little bit weird to see that as well. I would probably expect, I don't know. An arcane comet instead. All right, here we go. Ultimate coming in. Q to the W. Pops the flash instantly. There's the second halt to the ultimate. And Gragas will go down. Little bit sloppy play by the Akali. I think she thought he was dead uh, when she didn't go for a final auto attack. And then she had a flash auto or flash Q. But yeah, she she picked a time. But again, why did she pick that specific time? Was Did she see an opening? Why didn't she do that when she hit level 6? Uh, obviously, the tower might have something to do with that. Meanwhile, there is a rumble in the jungle. Uh, fighting the enemy Kane. Slight level advantage for the Rumble. Kane, however, is having higher dueling pressure right now, which is kind of crazy. Uh, level 5 versus level 6. Imagine if Kane was level 6. Uh, Akali probably going to go back. Thresh going yeehaw and misses. Uh, probably good that, that nothing happened bad there. Uh, and if we take a little summary while Akali's gone back to buy, top lane winning, jungle winning, mid lane winning, AD carry winning, and support obviously neutral, more or less. Uh, yeah, 100 or so gold in it. But this game is obviously going pretty good. The level 1 obviously would have helped that, um, but not too much. Again, I don't think the level 1 of both Aurelia and um, Gragas dying has had that big of an impact so far, because Aurelia still killed Darius in the 1v1 earlier, and the Akali has only now killed the Gragas. When he, when he had flashback up. Like, it, it was no, nothing of the level 1. Re and again, when Akali killed Gragas, she hadn't bought yet, so the gold advantage didn't... You know, there wasn't a gold advantage of items anyway. Um, so the level 1 has been relatively irrelevant. Akali looking for a play. Uses her E to jump over the wall, which again, that's a lot of, like, potential utility that you're missing out when you're just using that to be closer to an opponent instead of actually trying to get on the opponent with the E. Gragas clearing the ward there. Returning to the mid lane. Um, pushing it out and potentially looking to roam, maybe? Or is she just going to look to try and bombard the Gragas even more? Camera keeps wanting to turn to other people. Please stop that. Um, Build-wise, gets the revolver portion first. Great damage there. Very slick. There's the electrocute proc instantly, like a few hundred damage every single time. And you do that a few times, you whittle down the opponent, you get rid of their sustain, the corrupting potions, and then you go for the all-in. Under the tower, you can do that with your uh, with the W, as Akali obviously can shroud the tower. And obviously, um, they're making some changes to the champion. They may already be in, I can't remember. Um, possibly they're in now. So, the W is now... Um, you can still target Akali for very briefly before the Shroud goes fully off. If you've got a targeted ability, that is, you've already clicked to go with Akali, the Shroud will no longer cancel it. It will still go off. Anyway, full dive happening here. Really nice and slick. Uses both ultimates to go either side. Like, that's the cool thing I will say about the rework Akali. She can cover great distances, but deal, deal, still deal a lot of damage. I'm hoping that's not a rage quit. It possibly could be. Um, I doubt, I, I, they'll probably come back. Again, this is like master level um right now i will say because again there's no challenges in the game right now riot got rid of all of challenges until the new season or no in a couple days um around christmas itself which is a bit weird to me um she misses her cue randomly there um so we'll have to see what happens the rest of the game um again i know the outcome of the game i don't know how we got there and if it's a okay there you go i was gonna say if it was like a all in by Gragas and she dies. Wow, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but yeah, if the Aurelia didn't come back, I would have just stopped the recording. We would have done something else, uh, got another game. But she's back instantly. It was probably like an alt F4 rage, but then instantly realized I probably shouldn't quit the game. Okay, I'll come back. 
Um, so she dies. Meanwhile, Gragas, um, sorry, Rumble coming for a flank and completely misses his ultimate. Wow. Um, not looking too hot for this enemy team here. Twitch then gets himself in a little bit of a spicy predicament, gets killed. Now Rumble on the back foot to the severe is probably going to die. The heal to speed up and she's dead. He's dead too. Not the greatest Rumble gank. Again, I'm not entirely sure. Again, I haven't looked up this guy if he's a Rumble main or something, but I don't think Rumble is great in the jungle right now, let alone Dark Harvest Rumble. That's got nerf to Oblivion. That doesn't seem very good to me. But obviously, missing your ultimate to begin the gank isn't a great start anyway. Um, but yeah, she died. Akali died. AP Gragas is designed to burst. When you have a squishy Akali... She can get bursted, and that's exactly what happened. So even though that she's had relatively good control of this lane, Gragas is now back to being even in farm, um, and she dead in a 1v1. Gragas used Ignite, I believe, to get her the, the final blow, but that's where this Akali can't, you know, get passive and get lazy. Uh, and another thing that the Gragas is doing, which is a little bit weird, I guess, but I guess it's the, the Corrupting Potion link for healing. Uh, he's got two Dark, dark Seals. I'd say it's questionable because it's going to delay your early mid game, but whatever. Anyway, in fight happening between Aurelia and uh, Kane right now, she uses her ultimate. Wow. She uses, I think, her first part of ultimate to get there. Let's watch that again because, again, this is all about learning the champion. We'll also slow it down. So bottom left above my ad stuff, you can see her abilities. So she uses ultimate to begin with. Then she uses the cutlass. She throws a Q out. That's the second half to the ultimate with the auto attack. So there you go. That's what she does. All right. And then mid lane enemy team is taking over mid a little bit with the zillion. The, the, I, I will say I've seen a lot of Twitch AD carries recently and they never do well. I don't know why like there's been a popularity rise of Twitch AD carry. But again, Twitch AD carry and uh, Twitch as a champion in general has moved to more of a cheese jungler in the recent years, which you know I don't really like. Um, because I think he's moved there because he struggles in bot lane. He gets killed really easily. He's so squishy and, like, really immune to, like, CC. Oh, not immune. Really susceptible to CC. And he's relatively predictable. Where in the jungle, it's it's still kind of predictable where he's going to be. But people forget all the time. Oh, damn, I got ganked by Twitch. Whoops. Like, that's kind of what Twitch jungle strength is, is people not focusing well when he's in bot lane with you you know where he is and if he's not in bot lane with you you let everybody know and then at least the ad carries not farming anyway there's an all-in by akali very clean play really nicely calculated that she knew she had enough damage with the ignite just all around nice and again that was without her ult. there's another rage quit by this aurelia by the way so she i'm reckoning she will come back i think it's just probably a rager who's now one and six who ult of fours after they die and oh, i'm angry and then while the death timer is counting down they'll probably reconnect very shortly after the classic rage and again this is master roughly level play master challenger level still happens here folks it still happens here um so she's now 4-1-1. I will say, slight spoiler, there's a there's a long ways to go with the kills from now, and we've got about three or four minutes left of this game. But the kill difference from when I, what I've looked at, like when I had to download the replay, somewhere this Akali gets a lot more kills, and I want to find out where does she get the kills. Um, so we'll continue watching just to see what, what happens. Uh, but she gets her Mercury Treads, also completes the Gunblade. So yeah, Mercury Treads, by the way, not the aggressive Sorks. Um, again, CC is a big counter to any type of Assassin, especially Akali. So having CC to reduce that, and also she got killed by Gragas in a 1v1. So she might be a little bit worried about AP burst damage. So she also buys herself the Merc Treads there. There is a big fight happening in mid lane, by the way. They just clear up two people that were mid, arguably, when they shouldn't have been. Rumble ult comes down questionable decision summoner uh because you know what is that really achieving that just pushes them away when they were already backing off because there were no minions what about a rumble ult now that gets rid of the minions now like, that probably would have been more effective um anyway darius for some reason has been laning against a twitch for the past couple minutes akali i know everyone's just pushing um so we'll just see what the remaining like, there's two minutes i think roughly left of the game big obviously stomp game um that i just wanted to see how did the akali do it there's the engage with the ultimate straight away. Zillion pops his ultimate. He manages to survive. So this must be one kill for the Akali. There's another kill. So that makes a 5-1. Again, there's still a little way to go from where I saw that she had. Um, so again, the Aurelio, I will say, hasn't come back yet. But we'll continue watching because the game is nearly over by now. Um, they're going for the tower. 
I presume this is what I'd call like a half assed open. There's probably some people on the red side saying, hey, let's open. And then there's like the Gragas and the Rumble and maybe the Twitch saying we're not opening. Again, you only open if everyone agrees. Um, anyway, here we go. So she gets the W. So she's hiding in kind of tower. Zealing gets a slow. Double bomb misses, so no stun. Ignite randomly with no damage. With a, the lantern to safety. Uh, and Hib going down at obviously 15 minutes. This is the point of the game that you can early surrender, but that doesn't seem to be happening right now. Which again, when Aurelia isn't in the game, it's a little bit confusing why it hasn't. So, uh, here's potentially kill number two. So there's now six and one. Again, there's still a little ways to go. Uh, Thresh managing to survive. Akali is on the hunt. What the hell just happened then? There was a graphical glitch. Uh, there's another kill. So this is where she's starting to ramp up the kills right at the end of the game. Um, and I don't, like, again, Thresh is going back. He shouldn't. Yeah, just keep up the pressure while you can. You may as well end games when you can. Again, trust me, I've lost games from this point. That you get lazy, you're like, oh, we don't need to end now, and you end up losing the game. The Aurelia reconnects, the enemy team somehow turns, throw a few mistakes happening, and boom, you've just thrown the game. Uh, Gragas getting engaged on, boom, there's another kill for the Akali. So really, she did fine in the lane phase. A graphical glitches galore. Uh, but really, she was just cleaning up right at the end here. So anyway, this was a... It was an okay episode. I just wanted to see what she did against the Gragas. So remember, she was relatively passive in the early game. She waited until I think it was level 7 until she got her first 1v1 kill. Uh, but then was just relatively clean about it. Remember, she caused the Aurelia to rage quit by doing a really clean play here. So again, a little bit disappointing that you have the AFK over there. If this video gives anything more than the Akali stuff, remember this is master level play and you have a rage quitter like the Aurelia. They happen everywhere. So if you're somebody in iron or bronze or gold or silver, whatever, remember it happens at the peak of the solo queue. So it's not just your ranked games that get affected by them. It's also here, surprisingly. But anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, throw a like on the video. I will say by the time you're watching this, I might be recording one or two more. Uh, so if you want to leave suggestions of champions, put them in the comments and I'll try to record a couple of them. Uh, but yeah, hopefully the shorter video is okay. It's just the time of year. Obviously, I've got to try and get as many videos done. So there is content. There's no breaks. Uh, but obviously, if that means that there, there's some shorter videos instead of no videos, I, I think that's okay. But anyway, like, subscribe. See you guys next time. See you. So hey guys, just as a bonus uh, at the end of this video that I just thought I'd show, um, notice the damage chart for this game. Uh, so the Akali does the most, then the Severe. And one thing I wanted to point out, remember, you know, a lot of people go, oh, the Aurelia ruined the game. Obviously, yeah, it didn't help that she quit or whatever, but don't think that that is what entirely lost it. Twitch did 1600 damage to, to champions. The Rumble did 3000. So the Rage quitting Aurelia did more than three of the teammates that she had. So it's just worth noting, obviously still bad that she rage quit, still deserves to get banned and punished, but the game wasn't just because of the Aurelia, there were other things too. The Gragas, who was against the Akali, actually was pulling off the most damage. But anyway, that that's what I'm going to leave you guys with. Like, subscribe, see you guys next time. See ya.